can see I think I've sold Skadok. She the uh, the plan is that she's going to go back to the guy that I originally bought it off um, and I think he's gonna or he wants to put it back uh, put it back to to more or less her original configuration I'll put the picture up of how it was um, so in a way it's gonna be good for the good for the boat for, for it to be restored back to its original state and I know we'll make a good job of that that does uh, depend on me actually being able to ship it to him, which at the moment is uh, posing a little bit of a problem uh, due to paperwork and whatnot. It seems to be a rigmarole to get to get shipping organised, but there's always a there's always a way to do things. So I need to just persevere with that, and we'll get on with um, we'll get that done. Um, so I'm disappointed to see her go to not finish it, but the the good the good thing is that uh, my friend is going to give me a hand with um, sourcing some parts. And possibly some of the initial work on the uh, on my new idea. So I'm going to put some more CAD drawings up for for my new idea uh, at the end of this video. And I want to get on with this as quick as I can. So I don't want to spend too much time bogged down with CAD work. Uh, I want to get an idea at least with the pressure hull and get get on with it. And then possibly the rest of it will perhaps evolve. Uh, I'm thinking about the actual style design rather than the actual. Um, you know, the safety features, the, the balance. <laughs> so I'm hoping to get on with that fairly quickly, but we need to um, obviously get the design done first, but I don't want to spend too much time getting bogged down with CAD work. Uh, I must prefer to be actually doing proper work. Anyway, for today then, I'm going to make, make a start on getting this boat ready to ship back so I'm going to be putting some of the some of the bits I took off. Um, things like this uh, pen, hull penetrator here, hull, hull penetrator plate. Things like that can all be screwed back on because they're easy to come off. So they might as well they might as well stay on for the for the for the journey. Uh, and I've just got a tiny little bit of welding to to complete. You can see on these um, these battery pod legs. I just ne I never finished this one off. I must have forgotten about it. Let's have a look at this that I bought. This is the old. You can see that, yeah. This is the old um, like artificial horizon inclinometer, whatever you want to call it, uh, which is broken. And I bought one of these like cheap ones off eBay or somewhere. And I thought oh, I'll be a bit. It was going to be a bit rubbish, but it's actually okay. I mean, it's really. Not bad. I, it's not oil filled, I don't think, um, but it really isn't too bad. This was for some sort of some vehicle, so it came with uh, this kind of um, 3D printed thing to fit to the whatever vehicle it's from. Uh, so obviously I've got to put a, a backing plate in, but this this uh, dial around the outside is this thing is that this is actually the same size as this one, even though it doesn't look it. So I can take this apart. Put this one in there, I think that might work. This was a lot better than I thought it was going to be. In fact, I'll show you what I thought it was going to be. <sighs> right, this is one I bought uh, when I did JDB originally, and it's just like a cheap plasticky one. And look, it's absolutely hopeless, which is why I stuck it in my car. But uh, this one, in comparison, is a lot better it looks a lot better it, it seems to move nicely quite pleased with that i have actually ordered another one of these of this exact one so we'll see what that one's like when it arrives but for now i'm going to actually fix the frying pan because when i do my fried egg in the morning when it's been in the dishwasher the handle fills up the water and it burns my hand don't say we don't show you exciting stuff here you know
to me, to me, to me, to me, to me, come on, come on to me. Well done, <laughs> good girl. This is one of the original bolts, which still needs replacing, as do the others. I just used what I happen to have in the bag. No, uh, I forgot about that. The uh, ram isn't on, so that will actually fall all the way back. So I think I'll put the ram back on. Not that it's any use. Right, that's all back to how it was. Ram needs either repairing or replacing. So down here are all bits that I kept that uh, I would need to. Put back on so i'm going to start putting all of these back back in now but first i'm going to get all this wood out because i've kind of used used this as my scrap wood store so this needs to all come out now This with a hoover in a minute, but first time out. So I'm going to put this uh, penetrator panel back on. So it's propped up at the back with a piece of wood held in. It's a little bit awkward to get this on. So that's that part back on. Just putting it all back together like this, just because it's easier for transport. Yay, I've got this bit, which is an electrical penetrator. I think this might be for the camera. I think they have a camera on board. Right, I just noticed that one of these bolts for that uh, electrical penetrator was damaged. Now, I did not do that. It was like that as it when it came out. So what I've done is I've just identified this bolt and this is a this is a 20 TPI with 55 degree thread and it measures half inch. So this is a half inch UNF thread, not to be confused with metric 1.25, which is almost the same but that that's metric 1.25 and this is Whitworth 20 TPI and it's that one because if it was metric it would be M 12.5 1.25 which there isn't such a thing I don't think so I've just quickly run down the um, UNF tap, sorry, die down that um, and clean that off. Well, I've been doing this bit for about half an hour and I'm, I'm going to give up because um, I think these threads need chasing out and they're not deep enough. It's very difficult to get it to match up and I don't want to bash it around and damage anything. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it back together like this. Each one of these seems to only go in one specific hole. So there's something not right. Uh, so I'm just going to put it back together like this and the new owner can, it, uh, it'll need, I think they need chasing out. Right, I'm going to put the open back on. Okay, so that's the hook back on. Thing I'm going to do today is just put the decks back in. I'm going to take a second. Okay, decks back in. That penetrator's back in. Hatches on. Hooks on. Uh, that penetrator I couldn't get to fit back on, so I've left it. It needs tapping out or rethreading. 
Um, that's as much as I'm going to do for today because I've got to go and do a customer job and got to go make a, a, a door, a steel door for a shed or something. So I'll just quickly start showing you um, uh, some of the, the designs that I've done. Um, this is the Skadok model again, and you can see I've done a slightly different uh, tank, ballast tank design. But And then I did actually start putting some kind of shells or whatnot on, but I don't, that's no good, don't like that. Uh, anyway, but that's not going to be now. So this is um, what I'm thinking the pressure hull is going to be. This is my initial thoughts at the moment. It's really super simple to make. Uh, two spherical end caps or hemispheres. The short roll in the middle should be nice and easy. And um, I've got a few options with that. And this one, I'm kind of liking this. I know it looks a bit Jody B like, but with the addition of these tanks, um, that it uh, it kind of looks it's really nice and streamlined. Nothing to get caught up on anything. I'm liking that. The only problem is this, the tower is very um, very low, so it would probably need a sail of some sort. Um, this is another one, sort of same kind of thing. I was actually trying to go for that kind of look. But, um, well, it's not quite the same, is it? <laughs> um, so let's have a look. I did do some other, um, this one. <laughs> that was awful. Look at that. That was dreadful. Oh, dear. It's not quite so bad like that. But I tried to, to model that with um, by making uh, uh, like ribs like you would do for a normal boat. Except I didn't have any, any measurements. I just winged it. And it obviously... That one's no good. So let's forget about that. Uh, so yeah, so that one with the sail, something like that. It, it needs a bit of work yet, but I'm kind of liking that a bit. Because what, what else have I got? Uh, this one, another one. I don't know whether I showed you this one. This is sort of the same kind of thing, but really kept quite simple. Um, bigger dome on the front viewport down there I think I'll put that on for all of them but anyway these are just ideas at the moment I'm still I'm still kind of thinking